Hello, kings, queens, nerds, and geeks. Powder Milk here, and welcome back to Dream Date. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dream Daddy and the Dad Dating Simulator. If you uh, haven't seen the title of the below the video, but anyway, anyway, welcome back. And guys, I'm happy to be back again. Sorry, guys, I didn't post yesterday. I had a little malfunction with my recording system, and I apologize. So I will end up losing footage of a video I really hope to show you guys. And um, I might try to attempt it later on, but... So, but anyway... And um, I want to get back into Dream Daddy because we've gotten a uh, decent uh, amount of di uh, progress in the game, and I really like this game. I even went ahead and wore my Senpai as fuck t-shirt. So, I'm really... Like... Especially after yesterday, like, each character has their own unique personalities. Especially, like, like, they even have hidden personalities you don't know about, such as, um... Oh god, uh, what was his name? Fuck, I keep forgetting names. I'm terrible with names, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, the vampire-looking guy. He had hentai. He had, no, dojinchi, maybe, I don't know, lemons, I don't know. Had a dojinchi, a lemon, I don't know. Oh god. No, I should have played this drunk, it's gotten more funnier. It would have been more funnier, but... If I did this drunk, this would have been funnier, but... Yeah. But, I gotta stay sober a lot. I can't drink too much in my life, because... I mean, I am a... I do have a job to do. Okay, load. Time to get back into the game. Go ask your mother. You got dads. Okay. So we did Damien and uh, Matt. We did two of Roberts. These guys we still haven't dated yet. Now, I'm very curious. Who should I do next? Because I've got all the interest. To me, I've gotten the interesting characters. I really need to get into... I'm not much of a... A weight... A pushy guy. Like a, a weightlift guy. I used to be. But... Uh, Lately, I just can't. You know, maybe if I got out of that office, maybe I probably would go to the gym more often. But regardless, there's Hugo. He's more interesting to me than the other three that I still need to do. Because, you know, he is a teacher, and I, uh, I do love literature as much as I can barely read for shit. I do enjoy literature. As much as my, my bad grammar and terrible reading, you guys probably see me do. <laughs> I, I do apologize for that. But I do enjoy reading, and reading is one of my favorite things to do. You know what? I might get along with Hugo, and but uh, so first, and then there's Joseph. Now, guys, I know he's a bit of a priest boy because I've actually seen a screenshot of him with a, in a priest uniform, and I really don't know how to deal with that. All right, he's a pastor boy, isn't he? Um, and then there's Brian, the outdoer. I I, I don't like that about him. I really, he's like, like my least favorite character right now. Oh, not because way he looks, or because he's ginger, because hey, I'm ginger. And it's because of the way he his personality is to me. Like he's an out he's an um he's too cliche. That's what I'm I'm trying to say. He's too cliche of a dad who is trying to outdo anyone with his daughter's accomplishments. And that's what I don't like about people who just yeah, I'd, pro I'd probably admit I'd probably brag a little bit of how my daughter's good, but I wouldn't do go to a point to outdo somebody. God damn. Like, Joseph. Hmm. You know, I had just had a sudden realization in the beginning of the game that they were giving you a tutorial how to how the dates work. There'll be games. So I'm pretty curious about the other games. So I'm... Am I gonna... Oh, wait. I'm, I'm guessing it's based on the things that's going around. For Matt, I had to run away from a, mo from a mosh pit. Damien, I had to repair a statue. Hugo, am I going to be doing a spelling test? Because if you are, I'm fucked. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll do Hugo. Um, Hugo Vega. Middle school teacher. High school uh, little teacher. Writer of scholarly articles of the 18th century literature. Of uh, various esteemed pu publications... Uh, if you are here to tell me that my son has put a cherry bomb in your trash, I know I'm sorry. 
<laughs> like how he already knows. Brew some strong. Okay, on a Friday night, you are most likely to brew some strong tea and paint my miniatures. You have miniatures? Wait, are you the kind of guy who plays D and D on the weekend? Because I'd hang out with you. I'm. I've been trying to find people who play D and D, and I can never find anybody. Oh God. If you had one thing to take to, onto a desert island, what could it, what would it be? Uh, remembrance of things past and more or, or more so pr or what? By uh, a remembrance of things by Marshall Pros. I don't know. What are your turn-ons? Muscles. He apparently loves muscles. What did you uh you want to be when you grew up? A movie star. Let's keep reading. I want to I want to read more. What is your favorite movie genre? Documentaries on art history. So you love art, obviously. You are a what? You I can't tell what you are. I need to figure out your fucking personality test. Well, you what you would be to be personalities cuz I can't tell if you're introvert or extrovert. Cuz neither of these really say anything. Movie star saying that means you're kind of an extrovert, but all this other stuff could say you're an introvert. And I'm not sure about that. What is your ideal date? Each of us read a different book look on opposite sides of a couch in comfortable silence. What do you, uh, that's kind of, that's kind of mean to be honest. Like, what would be the point in that? That's like both of you watching two different animes in different rooms. That's just the same equivalent. Or, this, or different movies in a different theater. That's the same fucking thing. That's... That's not, that's not a good date. Uh, like, can you imagine that? I can't see that in a date. Uh, okay, what do you uh, never leave without? My glasses. Actually, I forgot them at home a lot. I forget them at home a lot. Okay, okay I spend a lot of time thinking about... I worry that people who are against e-readers are more in love with the fact that I... The idea of a book than actually reading them. Wait, what? Okay, I get that. Um, he's saying the e-readers are much better. I actually don't mind e-readers. I find them... I, I, I do find them useful in times, but it doesn't beat the actual existence of a hard copy. Like, I love a nice hardback, and I have a few in my... I few, and I have a few hardbacks and paperbacks in my, uh, in my shelf. Um... I do love books. Um, I don't get to read very often, but I do have some opportunities to read when I go on a uh, duty. So I I worry. Okay, uh, so you know what? Let's just go ahead and message uh, message Hugo. I do like Hugo, but the ideal date still gets me off. Like yeah, Remember, like how I spent eight minutes just trying to figure out who I wanted to date. And so you guys know, my wife, she finds me playing games like these hilarious. You gotta wonder how many uh, women out there will say they don't like their boyfriend playing dating simulators. I just happen to find them funny. Like, I seriously want to try out that one with the bird where you're dating birds. Will this game give me picture special pictures of characters? I gotta know. I gotta know. What will happen if I get all three hearts? Ugh, excuse me. Sorry. Ugh, excuse me. Damn. I'm so sorry. Um. Uh. I've been drinking a lot of soda today. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. I navigate to Hugo's dad book page and try to fi try out a message. We literally navigated that shit. Hey, you. Oh, okay, that's him. Um... Hey, Hugo. Great seeing you at the barbecue. Want to hang out sometime? Oh shit. Uh, wait. Uh, uh. I'm so glad you messaged me, and I'm definitely want to hang out with you sometime. But I have a favor to ask. Our class is going to on a field trip to the uh, aquarium. Today is one today, a and our chaperone had called in sick. Is there a possible way you could come by in, in place of them? Uh oh. I think about it for a moment. Man, there's a lot of screaming kids that would be accustomed for, and they're in the middle of school. I would really the worst age would be. I completely understand if you don't want to be and can't make it, but. I want to be honest with you here. It's a middle school class, and I need as much help as I can get. Honestly, I'd help. Uh, as much as uh, I know how middle school was, I know middle school was shit for me, guys. Middle school sucked. I was bullied, treated like shit, called ugly. I'm not joking. 
I was just innocent. I I'm still kind of dumb to this kind of thing. But this actually happened to me in middle school. Um, I went, uh, it was like close to the end of the school year. No, or was, it was like my, no, wait. I was going off the bus, or I think it was at the end of the school year. I'm not, I don't really exactly remember. But when I got to the school, a girl asked to take a photo with me. And I went ahead and took a photo with her. And later on, I had a friend of mine tell, uh, a friend of, a friend of my, not a friend of mine, but a friend of my sister's had told me later that she saw that same girl showing that photo that she took with me. Hey, look, saying, hey, I got a picture of the ugliest guy in school. And that, that was really messed up. Like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't care then, but it's still fucked up. I, I wasn't in a good place in middle school. No. But anyway, uh... This, uh, middle school is gonna be tough, and as much as I don't, don't like middle schoolers, it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna happen to me eventually if I have a kid. Like, whether I have a son or daughter, it's gonna happen. And I would help out in any situation. I'm assuming Uming his son, no wait, his son's in high school, never mind. I, I'm assuming that he, uh... He's struggling as a middle school teacher and a high school teacher. I've actually had a teacher who was both a high school teacher and an elementary student and a college Sorry an elementary teacher a college teacher and a high school teacher all at the same time It was really ridiculous. She was my math teacher in high school and she was also my original teacher in elementary school Back at uh, when I was in third grade, which was pretty interesting. So or Was it third grade or was it fourth grade? I don't remember but either way Amanda slightly trembles into the kitchen and pours herself a bowl of cereal. I can go for cereal right now. Morning, Amanda. Panda. Morning, Pops. Hey, how is my middle? How is middle school for you? Bad, because nobody likes middle school. It's three years of bad acne, crying, and bait, and being generally terrible. Ugh. Kind of accurate, to be honest. That's kind of accurate. <laughs> because you're in the stage between 6th grade and 8th grade. This is, the co this is the concept. You got the squeakers. The guys hitting their puberty and their voices are cracking. And then there's the 8th graders. Who are, hey, they're already shaving. Well, depending on your age growth, but that's mostly most of them. Me, my voice never stopped being so high. <laughs> My voice isn't so deep. No, I'm not much of a squeaker anymore, I'll tell that much. <sighs> Everyone sucks. No self-awareness. It's just a bunch of hormonal teenagers locked into a gross, bold building for 40-plus hours a week. Doing long division and starting art fights over, I don't know, pizza day? Top 40, po 30 pops? Why is that so accurate? It's too accurate! God, there were so many fights in middle school. Come on, that was when you started noticing girls. God. God, if... Oh, God. I'll be honest, uh, when I was in middle school, I didn't notice girls that much. I just wasn't ready for dating then, until high school. I'll, or was I? I don't remember. I, uh, but, um, either way... When another girl liked me, I was confused, like, why? <laughs> I knew when people were flirting with me, I just didn't flirt back. <laughs> Don't consider me weird, guys, I just have a screwed up mind. Middle schoolers should be avoided at all costs. Wait, is the middle school experience- what's your, what was your middle school experience like? I don't remember. It was long ago, and we probably owed dinosaurs and took ass and bartered for lunch with the tiny skulls of the animals we had skinned. <laughs> animals we had slain, not skinned, my bad. You probably had a walk up hill in the snow both ways, huh? And we liked it. Uh, uh. See, middle schoolers are, resp are resp reprehensible. What? Wait, why are you asking me about middle school? Oh, Mr. Vega requests some help to chaperone the middle school class through the aquarium. Just wanted to know if I was in for it. Just wanted to know what I was in for, I mean. You get to go to aquarium? Are you kidding me? Late, my last field trip I got to go on was on a clam chowder factory, and it didn't even get, give, us a cl give us clam chowder. They gave us square pizza at the clam chowder factory. <laughs> oh, is this why you don't eat clam chowder anymore? 
No, it's because Bobby Wellhan threw up it into one of the vats of clam chowder and the only one who saw it happen. It haunts me. Right. Let's leave that story firmly in the past. I don't want to know what that vomit did! I probably got sued! Or maybe a callback. Anyway, you should just do it. Vega sounds like he could really use the, the help. Plus, you get to hang out with the, hang out with the cool fish. Please be there, be octopus, because I've been reading a lot about octopus, and they're fucking smart as shit. Like, I remember reading about an octopus that had gotten out of its tank because of the uh, its keeper kept throwing bad shrimp into the mix of his food, and so and the octopus got mad, so he crawled out of his tank, which he could have done at any time. And threw the bad shrimp right at his keeper, and it was hilarious. They had to duct tape his cage after that. <laughs> it was. <laughs> and another time, I, I read that an octopus was posing for drawings, and it was aware that it was draw being drawn. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. I love octopus. <laughs> and, and I also think about Octodad, though I should try to play that game. Although that game is probably going to be hard as fuck to play. Uh, anyway. I'm getting kind of weird about- Amanda, I get kind of weird about aquariums. The ocean makes me nervous. What, are you worried that the whale is going to pop out and touch the tank and swallow you whole? Don't you put fear in my heart. <laughs> I don't know why people are afraid of the ocean! But my friend Boz, he's afraid of the ocean. I know Markiplier is afraid of the ocean. <laughs> I still don't get why Mark is afraid of the ocean, but loves space. I don't get it. I think space is pretty cool too, but I actually like the ocean. It's fascinating how there's creatures that we never even discovered. Yes, they have penguins there. Yeah. Well, I said, oh, penguins are outwind fear of the ocean. I sit back at the computer to let Hugo know that I'm available. He te tells me to meet him at the aquarium and gives me the address. I grab my keys and kiss the man on the forehead and before I head out. Time to go on a date to the aquarium. Is this gonna end like? Are we gonna see Octo Dad fight the chef? I, I have to be honest. I wanna. I, I wanna know. Will we be seeing that? Please let there be a reference to that. God, because Octo Dad would be perfect in this situation. Can you imagine Octo Dad in this? <laughs> I, arri I arrive in the aquarium to find the school bus. Friends have be beaten me there. Preteens huddle around their teachers in small groups, yelling at each other and goofing off. Every teacher looks like they're at their wit's end. I don't know. I don't know. That's your voice? Hugo jogs up to me, uh, looking frazzled. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, shit. I, I think I clicked off screen. Anyway, Hugo. Uh, uh. It's been a de <clears throat> What? It's been a debacle. All it's been a debacle all morning? I can't Is that what it's supposed to say? We're, uh... We're shorthanded and most of the kids won't stop screaming. I'm sure you know the case, is all case with all middle schoolers. I live through Amanda at 12. I'm all too familiar. Ah. Great. Ah. Well, you're, it, it's you and me chaperoning a group of 10 kids. They're over there. Hugo walks me to the gaggle of preteens who are all sitting on the ground, playing on their phones. They got kicking the... They're not kicking each other like... The, like some of the other groups they're so off we're so uh so we're off to a good start can you guys put your phones away and all the kids looked up for a moment stared at hugo and then they go back to texting at least they're quiet too quiet these guys are up to something i can feel it there's no way this they're too busy thinking thinking, thinking about not getting food stuck in their braces to pull to pull any stunts it's middle school after all uh, we'll see. I want to know. Hey, look at all the fish! Hey, look a shark! Oh, look, look. There's some. Um, hey, look. Uh, there's some. Uh, pr uh, yeah, stingrays. There you go. That's what we call them. Then there's the octopus. There is the octopus in the background. Okay, the class still f filling the uh, filling into the aquarium, and Hugo hands their massive st apled packets of paper to each kid. These are due by the end of the field trip. Yes, you'll be uh, 
It'll be E4 grade. No, oh, you can't borrow a pencil. The kids collectively groan and grab sheets from Hugo. What's what's in the packet? Honestly, this is just busy work, so the teachers can ha have the moments rep reprehensive. I think what I think one of the questions asked him to, him to sit quietly for ten minutes to think about uh, the Great Barrier Reef. Teacher hacks. I like that. Wait, I thought you were an English teacher. Why does the aquarium have to do with books? Hmm. Well, we did just do a unit on the old old man and the sea. Nothing quite like that. And should. Uh, is that, is that the thing with Ernest Hemingway? Ernest Hemingway, because I've been interested in more. I, I only have heard of Ernest Hemingway. I've never read er Ernest Hemingway's books in any of my schools, but I only heard of him because of game theory about relating Ernest Hemingway with Deadpool. No, it was film theory, my bad. Um, uh, <laughs> um, uh, spirits making them pet stingrays. Uh, Oh. This makes me a time to check out some exhibits as well. Come on, they ha have a phenomenal selection of tropical fish. While the kids sit on the floor, pretend to do uh, their assignments while they text, Hugo and I wander over to a large tank filled with brightly uh, colored fish. Hugo points to a brown and white fish that, with long spines. Mm. Maybe we could find it in here. That's right. Uh, that right there is a lionfish. Do you know they have... They have stomachs that can expand up to 30 times in size. Whoa. Ah. Their ah. spines are venomous, too. Nature is hardcore. <laughs> Actually, it's true. Nature is hardcore. Have you seen all the awesome shit? Even insects are fucking brutal. Come on, hornet. African hornets can just maul hundreds and hundreds of bees. Mother of God. Ugh. If you think that's bad, take a look at one. That's one over there. Hugo points to a spiny, grumpy-looking fish hanging, hanging out near the bottom of the tank. Ah. Ah. That's a stonefish. They're the most venomous fish in the world. They're just like, keep it in here. Oh, they're relatively harmless as so long as you don't step on them. What happens if you step on them? Oh. Tissue oh. Uh, necrosis. What? Cool. Hey. Hey. Nature is wild. Man, Hugo seems to know a lot about fish. I feel overwhelmed. Um, need to impress him. Hey, see that fish over there? Hmm. That one? Yeah, that's the... Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna fuck this up. Yeah? Oh. Did you know that? What? I don't know. Oh god. Alright. Times are changing, man. Wait, oh. are you serious? We're talking about fish here. There's no time for jokes. Oh, that's a clownfish. Damn it! Right. Fucker! 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 Can I load? Can I load? Hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on. I'm gonna load that. No, wait. Can I load? Hold on, guys. I'm gonna load it. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, answer the other question. Absolutely not. Oh! Uh, yeah. Okay. I had to make sure, because I didn't want a bad date. I am not fucking this up. I am not fucking this up. <laughs> Hugo leaves the side of the separate kids, and who started fighting over a criminal Capri son? <laughs> okay. After a while, they look around to see Hugo is gazing up at the aquarium the child like wonder. The ripples of the water cast blue um, moving shadows across his face. With some surrounding... Surrounded by angry hormonal tree teams, he looks completely peaceful. So this guy has a thing for fish. Is his models about fish? Like I know, and that's what it's about. He looks really cute in in the in the light. I hope he really doesn't notice me staring. Wow. Oh. I walk over to join him. Beautiful, isn't it? I'd rather stare at you. <laughs> we can lean in at a great a deal of the mother ocean. Are those two sharks kissing? I like how that's an option. Uh, yes, that was the right answer. That's a very salutable point, Powder. We stand together in a moment and admiring the wonders of the marine life. I love it. Eventually, we make our way to the touch tank room, which seems to be the uh, only thing that kids are actually interested in. The tanks are filled with a variety of ho horseshoe crabs, sea urchins, stingrays, and small fish. 
The stand around the edges of the tank seemed to be uh, the distance from sea life and what nefarious plans of horseshoe. What? No. I cannot read right now, guys. I'm sorry. Hugo rolls up his sleeve and sticks his hand in the water. Don't you know what? To pet at some rays? Powder? Oh, I think I'm good. I don't really. I think I'd stay away from here. Over here, here a Myers in a respectable distance. Come on, it'll be fun and informative. Don't make fun of me, but I'm scared of the, to touch them. I get weird when there, there's no glass separating us. I don't know what what any of these things are, but I have a feeling they will probably bite me with the, the, and my delicious hands if given the chance. Nothing is in the tank will hurt, want to hurt you. The stingrays have had their barbs removed. And horseshoe crabs only eat, eat little clams. And the anemones, they're perfectly safe to touch. Against the, the better judgment, I approach the tank, slowly drip my hand in the close water. I touch the stingray, and it glides past me. See? It isn't so bad. I just realized that some of those are stingrays. I just thought it was rocks for a minute. Oh god, I feel stupid. Ugh, god, this game is awesome. It feels like fun, slimy leather. Things get a lot less scary when you learn more about them, right? I drive my hand back to touch the ta touch the touch tank and renew the vigor of the ocean life. I poked at some urgence and feel the hard ca carapace of the horseshoe crab. My hands brush against Hugo's, and we reach the same an enemy. I pull away, blushing. Hugo smiles at me. Hey, you're supposed to be touching the fish. Sorry, you got a little carried away. So, something. Wait, that girl over there, she looks suspicious. Why is that? Oh. Our backpack's usually all wet. Hold on. Susan, Susan, get over here. Her run runs after the middle school teacher and catches her before she can make it to the school. Want to tell me what's in the bag? Uh, textbooks? Want to tell me what's really in the bag? Susan will oh, budge. I walk over to Hugo and the girl, and I think it might be a need a bad cop. Look, kid. Oh, we don't have time for games. That's an e easy five out of ten in the clink. There we go. Whatever it is, get back to touch the tank now. You're not a te you're not a teacher. You can't tell me what uh. to do. Yes, well, I am. I am. Now give me. Now you can please put the bag down. Tech next time, don't say a. We won't say please. Wow, Susan stares at Hugo. Apparently he loves strong, independent man. That's all I have to say. Susan glares at Hugo for a moment before dropping her textbooks on the floor and lands in the wet slap with a wet slap. We stare for a moment before she starts to move. What? Hugo leans down and unzips the backpack. A horseshoe crab frantically scutters out across the floor. An employee swoops in, scoops it up, and places it back in the tank. She get is a dis gives us a disapproving look. Jesus, Susan, what was your plan? I was trying to free him. To where? Outside? Where he was gonna die? Uh. Susan, go oh, back to your group. We'll discuss this later. Yeah, and my hand ends... And my hands where we can see, and hands where we can see them. Susan skulls off, leaving the, me alone in, with Hugo. He gives me a pat on the shoulder. Oh. Middle schoolers give sticky hands. I doubt uh, that the first time that's happened here, or at le or the last. The next room we see is a variety of smaller tanks, sea urchins, tiny fish, and a rainbow, and a rainbow of beautiful wa otter p uh, plant life surrounds us. Oh. Look over there. Hugo points at some ho horseshoe who's gathered around the bottom of the tank. One of them is in the middle giving birth. Oh. Ooh, the miracle of birth. This is actually a male seahorse. Sort of takes a father to, the, to a new level, doesn't it? Hey, kids, come check out this out. That's actually true. Uh, when uh, seahorses um, make, or make, like, uh, give birth, the male holds on to it, which is kind of a, kind of a gender reverse role right there. Which is pretty interesting. I'm kind of glad I don't shoot babies out my dick. So, um, there's a male he seahorse giving birth. A uh, low murmur of the students that jump back to their uh, on their phones. Oh. Fun fact: male seahorses can even give birth and even give birth, earth, and then get pregnant in the same time. 
man, we thought we had it hard. Ah. <laughs> I wonder if they had to deal with their kids' awkward teenage years, too. All, however, many, a, a thousand of them. You seem to know a lot about marine life, Hugo. Ah. It's really a, it's really my specialty, but I do make a point to learn as much as possible whenever I can. I think the earnings shouldn't end when you leave school. We should challenge ourselves to find out more about things that we don't understand in every day of our lives. I agree with you! I agree with you! That's why I love fucking reading! Even if it's fiction! Because fiction can also be based on truth, and that's what I like about books. Like fictional books, as you because it makes you want to learn more about it, like the Percy Jackson series. I was fascinated with Greek mythology. It is awesome. I love Greek mythology, and I am. Um, it's like one of my favorite forms of mythology, and the Greek, the Greek myths. Uh, they just fascinate me. Greek and Roman, of course. Um, find out more. Okay, let's go to the next. Uh, because if you uh, stop learning, I don't think you'll ever be able to grow oh, or change as a person. Good point. But I still don't trust the ocean. We'll get there. We finally make our way over to the favorite part of the tour, the, Ar Ar the Arctic exhibit. Do we get to see penguins? Oh. Yes, and we get, to see, we get to see the penguins. Hell yes. <laughs> Just hell yes. Oh god, I love this game. Our group of kids run around the exhibit and won't stop tapping on the glass of the, pu of the puffin exposure. Oh god, look at all those adorable penguins. Try to get their attention. We'll t for at least for the moment, teachers, chaperones, and students like them to see having a great time. And I was so worried about it. It wasn't too bad. Whoa. Hugo suddenly grabs my arm. Oh my god, there's a student in the penguin exposure. Wait, just kidding, it's very bad. I'm not just kidding, it's very bad. Is it one of ours? Eh. It most certainly is. Mullen Henderson, Susan's friend. Over there is a penguin we see. A determined looking kid crouching behind a rock. She's hiding just to put the side out of the employees. Over the side of the enclosure, I see a door of the exhibit, a jar. Was it unlocked the whole time? I'm going to stop her before the staff sees the ba and bans our school for life. Hugo looks around. I don't know. I'll create a distraction. Hugo runs around towards the puffin exhibit and addresses the entire room. <sighs> everybody, 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 I have an announcement. The whole room turns eh. Hugo. Um, ah. Here's a new fact I bet you would never knew about penguins. Everybody just stares at Hugo confused. Well, it was a shot run right under the explosion, all greeted by the cold blast of air. Psst, hey. The girl whips around and looks at me, her nose pink with the from the cold. You can't be in here. Neither can you. I try to walk over to the girl, but the ground was so icy I just end up slipping. I catch myself before I hit the ground, and the girl still laughs at me. <sighs> Contrary to popular belief, penguins are birds. Birds are traditionally known to fly, but penguins cannot. So I can understand some confusion if, when, if you're discussing the birdness of a penguin. The crowd's still somehow in, enraptured. Kid... What are you even doing? I'm letting the penguins go. They deserve freedom. Where are they? Where would they even go? They're gonna live in the in my closet. Look, I just don't even have time to argue about this. We gotta get out of here. Not until I have save a penguin. What is with people? What is with kids and wanting to save everything? They are more like they're better off living in there than they are in the wild because then they're less likely to die. It's all fairness. I know captivity isn't all that great, <laughs> but how often do you see a miserable animal at a zoo? I've never seen one. I've never been to a zoo, but I've never seen a miserable animal in a zoo. Though there was a place, a feeding farm, that really ticked me off because they were so overfed, they were getting fat. It was a feeding farm, and an ostrich feeding farm, and all the animals were getting fat. Like, they had donkey, uh, p donkeys and ponies. They were so overfed. Little known fact about penguins, they only live in cold climates. Uh, little, with some exceptions, so or they don't have a cold, live in a cold climate if you're splitting hair, hairs here. <laughs> Did I mention that they don't fly? The crowd is starting to lose interest. I'm running out of time. Uh, lay down the law. I prepare to raise my voice, Molly, then hesitates. This is weird for me to raise my voice to a stranger's kid, like it's parenting fox pot eyes or something. 
money, give it to me. Give me twenty dollars right now if you leave. Let me leave with me. Molly th thinks for a second. Okay. Oh, give me. Give it to me right now. I reach in my pocket and pull out everything I have, examining each bill. Okay. I have twelve dollars and some change, but here's the. There's a button here. Is that enough? Pay me the other eight later, and I'll have a deal. I moved the shake uh, argument before I suddenly realized there was a wave of penguins on the other way of the exposure. They're gonna ha have to block uh, these birds. Oh no! I'm gonna fail! It's a blocking game! How? No! Oh, hey, look, there's that girl. Is there a time limit to this? Five, we got him out. Mission complete. I win. <laughs> Bang was escape zero. <laughs> oh god, this game is so interesting, guys. I love it. Oh man, I wasted so much time right now. Ah, uh, trust no one. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm glad that's over, just in time. Looks like the Hugo is wrapping up his diversity penguin speech. Mm. And that's why I think penguins are one of the best animals in the world. A few people in the audience clap out of the sense of duty. Uh, everyone starts dissipating. Hugo sp uh, access to the cross the way and runs. I don't know. Molly, what were you doing in there? I was liberating animals, Mr. Vega. You realize that the penguins can only survive in Arctic temperatures, right? That they would have to, uh, you would have a dead penguin on your hands. Well, um, it was a thought that counts. No, Molly, it wasn't. Molly turns to me. You owe me eight bucks. What? Just, I, I'll pay her you later, kid. Molly runs off, off to Susan. And su I suppose that could compare to animal th oh. ethanotes. You're off to, uh, hook up, off, you're not off the hook, mo mm -hmm. hook Molly. Powder, did you bribe a child? <sighs> You can't play a by the rules when there's penguins on the line. On the line. And there are things in our lives and trying to young, bright-eyed youth I used to be. The person believed the world there wouldn't have brought out children to save a penguin. That I today knows the difference and I only wish I could go back. <gasps> Let's just get through the day and get out of here. I feel that this day didn't go end so well. With the day finally... I, like, I didn't think this day ended so well. We leave the aquarium and it's loaded the buses. Hugo pulls me to a side. Mm. Hey, Powder. Thank you so much for helping me out today. You're a lifesaver. It's no problem. It was actually kind of fun. Oh. Let me th thank you next time I'm going to make it up to you. What? You like cheese boards? I love cheese boards. I'm... Uh, I love cheese boards. Great. Well, I gotta make sure the kids won't steal anything else. See you around. Okay. I walk inside and find my house empty. Hmm, I wonder where the pa that panda's at. Before I know it, Amanda pops through uh, the front door. What you up to tonight? Just doing some homework. How about the, how was the aquarium? I, it was an adventure. Some kids try to steal a penguin. Aww. We've all been there. I had to, I had to run in and grab her before she, the employees saw. Yeah. You saw, you got to go in the penguin exposure. Did you steal a pe penguin for us, Amanda? No penguins were stolen thanks to the valiant efforts of myself and Mr. Vega. And it's nice to get it to spend some time with Hugo though. Yeah. It's surprising you helped complete to convert or not, helped complete a cover convert op. He's usually kind of a kind of a what? Kind of a stick in the mud. He's actually pretty cool. I had a good a time with him. Alright, 
too much adventure for the day. I'm gonna get some rest. My go and rest my eyes. You need to take. You mean take a nap? There's a difference. Difference. You'll earn when you become a father. What? She's not a f not guy. You just said parent. Date complete. How was it? Tweed. Gold star. Yeah. Behavior. I got a nice uh, achievement on that. I'm happy. I need to do at least one more date. And you know what? Let's go with Priest Boy. Yeah, we're gonna have to go with him. I'm not gonna bother reading it because I've wasted a lot of time. It's already been 45 fucking minutes. Let's try to make this date as quick as possible because uh, I gotta cut off, cut it off after this one. Okay, his family's a little weird, but Joseph seems cool. I should take him up to his good offer and hang to hang out. Wait, how do I hang out with a priest? I don't go to church. Should I be Jesus-y? Jesus-y? <laughs> That's the best way to describe it ever. Uh, guys, I don't, I'm not, I don't really have a religion. I'm agnostic, so I don't know how to react to this. God, uh, I'd probably piss this guy off with the number of Jesus jokes I can come up with. I imagine Joseph's family staring at me to fumble through this sort of thing of a prayer attempt. But maybe too Jesus-y, a light sh a smattering of Jesus. He want me to pray. If will he want me to pray? Is he going to pray at me? Do you have to pray at him? I like this guy's questions because this is um, my dad. We live in a Christian house. But I grew up in a Christian. Sorry, excuse me. I grew up in a Christian household. I just I I wasn't Christian. My dad didn't find that amusing with me. Um, uh, talking to Joseph, huh? Ah! Amanda, how many times have I told you not to sneak up and be like that? I selectively ignore it every time you go- Oh, Pops. Amanda looks over my shoulder at the screen. Joseph can't read your mind, you know. If you want to talk, just message him. But I've never been friends with a priest before. What do I talk about? My, fable, my favorite Bible passages? Ice cream socials? Ka khakis? Khakis?! <laughs> First of all, he's a youth minister with a tattoo, not a priest. There's, there, there's a difference. Ugh. You're overthinking it, Dad. Listen, just to put it like this. Aww. Hello, neighbor. Thanks again for inviting us to the barbecue. I'd love to hang out soon, if you're not too busy. Isn't that a little too business casual? <sighs> fine, fine. Give him, give me the keyboard. I got oh. this. Amanda, this is the second time you've had to do this. Focuses on the keys. Hey, Joseph. Okay. Hi, Joseph. It was great meeting you at, at your fa and your family. I still, I'm still new around here, so if you like, I'd love to hang out and get to know you. See ya. See ya. A smiley a, the smiley is a nice touch. Almost immediately, I receive a response. What he, what he say? Hi, Powdered. If you're not doing anything in a bit, uh, the kids and I are, are, are baking treats for the church bake sale today. We'd love uh, to ha have you over. It'll be a blast, so let me know. Man, this guy is already about the church. That wasn't so bad. He uses a lot of exclamation points. Wait, how many exclamation points did he use? There's one, you can see. Yeah. Hmm. I'm more concerned about him, him uh, signing his name with the Tibble. Til uh, tilde. I'm willing to let it slide this time. Oh. I respond back. Sounds like fun, powdered. I guess I'm doing this. Great. Hey, hey, come on by what as soon as you're your red Eddie will be he will be here. Hmm. Sound save a brownie for me. Promise you won't sneak up on me anymore. Amanda stares at him, unblinking. I don't make promises I can't keep. Real to the, ooh, a fault, Pops. Ugh. And Dad, please don't be weird aired about religion things. Me? Weird? Never. I'm always weird and I'm proud of it. Anyway. <laughs> I, I I make a sort of 
Uh, walk over to Joseph Place. I make a sort of walk over to Joseph Place. Don't be weird, powdered. <laughs> but what if they hang around a bunch of crosses? Uh, collect these little uh, poor Ursuline babies. What if they're all praying? Do they pray before dinner, during dinner, over the porcelain babies? What is with you and the fucking dolls? You're relating. You're. Are the Game Grumps atheists? I guess I need to know the Game Grumps helped make this, or whoever made this game. Is he an atheist? Because. Is this his opinion on religion? In general? Is this his opinion on the Christian religion? I, I have to know, because I know it's not like that. I think he's confusing Satanism. Yet again, Satanism isn't that terrible either. Don't, 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 ta don't take that the wrong way. I just noticed that Satanism things aren't that bad. And some of the things, like, in, like, in their, in their satanic bible, in the satanic bible, did you know it's, like, a sin to be stupid? <laughs> oh, God. I'd be going to, where would I be going? Where do sat Satanists go when they die? If they're, if they're, if they go by their sins, where do they go? If they go, if they sin according to the Satanic Bible, where do they go? Uh, anyway, back to this. I'm sidetracking here. The door begins to creak open. A shadowy figure occurs on the other side. Who is there? Uh, Powdered? Uh, God, Joseph's eldest. What's his name? Uh, hey. Hey. Uh, Chris. I'm gonna call him Chris. Hey, uh, it's, uh, I'm Powdered. I know what your name is. Oh yeah, I've met you at the barbecue. How's the, uh... Please don't say it. Jesus. Curse blinked slowly. Maybe he, he didn't hear that. You're weird. Is your dad... Before I finish, Chris walks to the adjacent room and leaves me in the front open doorway. Home? This is a great first impression for, for, for a moment. I wonder if I would just go in further subjective Joseph's family to the winning attitude of art, artful charisma. Mercifully, Joseph, he peeks his head around the corner. Yeah. Powdered, you made it. Joseph approaches his arms wide. Oh. I'm so glad you came by. You are, are you ready to bake? I am not. I am ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> this is se like the semi, that's the semi- like semi-con evident, like the uh, bit aching artisan. Come on in. Yeah. God, this is his outfit throws me off. I'll be honest. Uh, like I'll wear pink. Just why is it a polo? And why khakis? Why the fuck khakis? I hate khakis. Although I'll wear a suit, but khakis? What the fuck? And I just noticed the swordfish. Is why is there a pink? No, I, I, I'm not gonna ask. Why is it pink? I'm trying to look at the background of his house. What's with him in the sea stuff? Okay, I know he has a tattoo, but I don't remember where I saw the tattoo. Anyway, I don't see it under the fucking anywhere. Anyway, Joseph leads me to the bright, sp uh, spacious home full of n the what? N something knickknacks. This isn't what I imagined at all. It's natural. It's na actually pretty charming. I believe you've met Chris. Who left you outside? Chris. Oh. Um, are you going to apologize? Alright, sorry. Trying to make eye contact with Chris, but keeps looking away. He must be really shy. Or really rebellious. It's alright, next time it will be a little more inviting to our guest, okay? Sure. What is with this kid? He seems more like his mom than anything. I wonder. Because at that age, I wasn't like that. I couldn't shut up when I was a kid. This guy's quiet. Chris seems to relish the chance to escape the conversation and quickly vanishes to the room. Joseph turns to me apologetically. <sighs> Don't take it personally. Chris likes to keep to himself. I mean, he didn't start off the best foot at the, at the, in the world. Plus, being, um, being the eldest, the big family can't be easy. <sighs> we can try to cut him a little slack where we can. Ah, here we are, the twins, Cr Christian and Christy. Um, uh, say hello, oh, uh, man, you really love Christ enough to name your kids different with all after Christ here. Say hello to Powdered. Hello, Father. Hello, Powdered. <laughs> hey, kids, come on, dial back the creepy twin schnick. Creepy twin schnick? Egg them on? We should, 
Egg them on. Can you two stay? Come play with us, Danny. Oh no. The twins stare off in an unblinking unison. Come play with us, Danny. Joseph covers his mouth and looks away. He's clearly holding back a big laugh. This is it. That's why Dad. This is why Dad World Series. My Dad World Series. Come on, now say please help us, Mother. Please help us, Mother. Yeah. No, I can't take it. Jovis is trying his best not to break in front of the kids. The twins seem to be catching on and look each to the Buster Dad. Buster Dad. They gotta keep it up. Uh, go with something creepy. Now say, it's all. They all float down here. <laughs> <laughs> Your father, Joseph can't take any more. Despite the quiet pro pro uh, protestations, he's laughing pretty hard to <laughs> his hands, and the kids giggle with him. The twins, obviously pleased with their new arsenal of spooky weapons, even in the room to terrorize the rest of the community. My work here is done. I love these kids. Uh, I'm going to be hearing those lines for weeks. Next time we'll hit. Hang no, and I'll try to teach them some lines from the thing. <laughs> All right, so it looks like you've got a bit of a troublemaker on your hands. You think, think you can and uh, out trouble the car a career pro? I don't know oh, about that. I uh, suddenly interrupting by a loud crash in the kitchen. What? What now? That doesn't sound good, Christy. No one responds. Joseph furrows his brow and motions to me and stay where I am. <laughs> Wait here for a minute. Joseph rushes to the kitchen. Remember that I remember this from with Amanda. Half of the father was trying to keep her your kids from finding creative ways to kill themselves, and and he's got four. Talk about worry. Wait, what was his fourth kid? Oh yeah, it's a baby, I believe. I take a seat at a surprisingly pristine couch and twiddle my thumbs. Examine the coffee table. Examine the floor. Don't head to the kitchen. Examine the bookshelf. It's a pretty sturdy wooden bookshelf. It looks ha handmade. Did Joseph build this? There's there's a big stack of what looks like travel magazines. Hyenas, uh, Irving Getty? From, of the Serving Getty. Okay. The underwater mysteries of the a Antarctic. Oh, oh, and on. Seems that Joseph really loves, loves good adventure. Man, this priest seems to be more than he seems. But he's gay, I bet. Unless there's a merry a thing, who knows? Unless this isn't really about dating dads. But hey, hey, what? But it has to be dating dads. We had that gay father from earlier, Robert. You know he's gay because they boned. Like, and as for maybe this priest is bisexual, bi curious. I don't know, but we have to find out. I'm too curious. Next time we get to the trouble of different Bibles. Looks like he's covering all the Bible bases, King James, New American Standard, Bible 14, the Bible 14s. He is a cool youth. He is a cool youth minister, after all. Uh, the higher shelf is a bunch of romance novels. Judging by the wine stains, these are all, must be Mary's. Newest ones look like Hot Body Johnson's Sex Detective. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's kind of funny. I love a good romance, uh, romance, um, <laughs> novel, um, the eighth installment in, wait, is this a series? Uh, examine the coffee table. There's a couple of cool knickknacks snacked on the coffee table in front of me. Hey, a cross. Hey, another cross. It looks like an, uh, this one looks a little different. And a third cross, unified design and... And it's the a smart choice. There's also a brass thing here. It looks like some sort of sailor would use to navigate with. It looks, uh, and I think that's called sextants. Wait, huh, sex. Fucking pervert. <laughs> Fucking pervert. Fuck, I, I like how I'm calling him a pervert. I'm a pervert. I play pervy games. Anything perverted makes me laugh. <laughs> Oh god, how did I survive without getting a sexual harassment lawsuit? <laughs> anyway, examine floor. Well, wow, there's been many kids, things out of the end of on the floor, no matter how hard you try to keep it clean. I spot a terrifying cloth doll that appears to have both arms pulled off. 
several times have been stitched back together a lot. The tag says C plus C, of course. I get down to the spot of the ha house paint. A little, hey, little guy. Keep uh, being you, you house plant. Oh, house plant, not house paint. My bad. I spot one of the last thing on the floor, uh, or next to the house plant. It's a silver necklace. Wow, this looks expensive for something. Yeah, as well tossed on the floor. If there's a story here. It's none of my business. I've been here a while. I guess I should go to the kitchen and see what's up. <laughs> huh. Is he having a bad marriage? Like, I know the situation from the barbecue before, but is it worse than it seems? Is this happy little family more than what it should be? What it seems? Are they hiding something? Hmm. I'm wondering here, because it's, it's making me more curious now. I walk into the kitchen and find Joseph holding Christy on one arm. She's been a lot calmer -er than she was a minute ago. I raise an eyebrow at Joseph. <laughs> The twins are a lot more manageable than they s when they're separated. Where's Christian? Hi. He ran off. Christian dri dips a spoon in a brownie batter and gives it a taste. Dad, it's too sweet. Oh. You're too you're too sweet. No, I'm not. Oh. You're reminding me of my wife. I'm not joking. If you call my wife cute or adorable, she's like, I am not adorable. I am evil. Roar! It just makes it worse. <laughs> For her. You're so. Oh god, I just realized how much. I'm not joking, guys. If you ever see my wife without her makeup, she looks 12 years old. It's scary. And it makes me look like when I have a beard and I don't shave that I look 24, so it looks worse. So you can imagine the situation. I remember, this is not a joke. Me and my wife were having a picnic in a park. It was like. And I'm like. And we were having a conversation how. I like. I bet it looks weird how you look 12 and I look look 24. I had a beard at the time. And I'm like, we imagine if a cop came by, how old are you two? I'm like, I'm 24. And she'd be like, I'm 12! God, I would be arrested on the spot. Oh, God. You're so sweet. We might have had to wa water you down with spiders. No, not spiders. Oh, Joseph B... B begins tickling Christy with the, with his free hand, and between the laughing and the squirming, now that's the kind of dad I want to be. I know how. I, I don't know how he's got a hold of her, but this girl is locked in place, and the man is professional child wrangler. Christy fixes me with the best puppy dog eyes. Mm. Save me from the spiders. Spoon duel the oh the spider king. Renegade option. I grab the wooden spoon and point the at Joseph's direction. Un unhand her, you foul beast. Uh -huh. Okay, Potter, the Elliot. Let's see what you've got. You may have defeated, you may have defeated me at tr at Tarantula Ridge, but now I ha have the upper hand. Please say I have the high ground. Joseph gently puts Christy down behind him. <laughs> have you come to squash me, Knight, or ha have you merely fallen onto my web? God, this is getting creepy. Please don't say daddy. Please don't say don't say no one say choke me harder daddy. No one say that. Oh God, that'd be weird if it's two guys. Oh yeah, quick question guys. I want your opinion. What are you guys is what are you guys th opinion on the daddy complex? When yeah, uh, when someone calls when someone says harder daddy, I want to know what is your guys opinion. I'm me I'm no mere fly, Spider King. Now un God for a minute. And it's so Joseph and I mocked you, oh, the two dumbest looking spoons uh, in the room. Eventually, I strike a killing blow on the invisible heart er, between in his arm and body, and Joseph recoils in horror. Blast! I am defeated! You could never best me, Spider King, for the- I have the power of- Sneak the taste of the brownie batter. The magic- Oh, man. That's the way it's too sweet. Me uh, Christy begins to- um, jump up and down excitedly. My hero! Christy hugs my leg and egg before we make the surprising fast mm. exit. Hey, wait. Do you want to be egg brownies with us? Christy he hesitates and sn shakes her head no again. Sparkly pony. Mm. Sparkly pony? Joseph looks confused. Mm. You don't want to be egg with dad now? You want to play with the sp 
With Sparkly Pony? Yes. Oh. Okay, go. Before Joseph can even finish the sentence, Christy is out the door and down the hall. Ahead. Mm. Joseph's uh, eyes deeply uh, as he stares into the chocolate batter. He tasted again, face twisting. Yeah. It's w and that is still way too sweet. So, what made that crash? Mm. Egg beaters and a limp-pulling on a living floor. <laughs> uh, it's a, it, it was a new techno single. It still hasn't thought of, of its of the B side. Now I'll. Uh, now that we're both looking at the batter, it's still a sickly sleen of sugar and chocolate candles. Candles across oh, that's the. What? Sorry, guys. I have trouble reading, and I have a feeling Christy had something to do with it. We need a fresh start. Oh, huh? Let, let me, like I said, I'm not really a, a baker, but yes. don't even sweat it. A bag, oh, please don't tell, please tell me we're going to be doing a bag, doing a cake thing. Please tell me we'll be doing a cake thing. I love baking, by the way, guys. My favorite thing to cook is cake. My favorite, I love baking cakes, man. Hmm. Bag, I came up with instructions and nervously vanishing along with my daughter. Oh, wait, cookies too. Uh, and probably be fine. Probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, he certainly looks confident. All right, powdered. You have to bake a cake in the box here. Once, uh, uh, how hard could this be? Now grab a spoon here and get ready to brock. Mark Royal Belly saved me. Joseph and I set to work and cracking the eggs, mixing things and pouring them exactly according to how they assumed the box would tell us to. Things according to plan. Soon enough, we have a soil, a solid batch of brownies. Mm. Phew! Wait. Joseph, that was a little, little dot, uh, batter on your nose. Oh. Wow, Powdered. Wait. Use your dad skills. I bet you had baked a few boxes mix in our time. His nose. Joseph, oh. we all have to bring these back to the bake set. Iola, Iola. Duty is done. <clears throat> now help, help me. Be fine, Christy. Hey, uh, keep your eye out of the pony that sparkles. Joseph, hold still. Oh. What? Thumb um, position. And got it. Joseph's eyes go wide and I gently wipe the chocolate off his nose and he's blushing. Oh. Thanks. No problem. In less than a second, I click the batter off my finger. Er, and really good batter. We, uh. You should find Chris. We should find Christy. Yes, yes, we should, uh. Did I just make him flustered? Um, yes, yes, we should, uh, do that, Powdered. Joseph quickly composes himself. All right. She can get... She can't be far. I'll take the delta position and you watch my six. Did you even know what that means? Nice. Alpha to angle sparkle roger roger. Jo Joseph starts, uh... <laughs> making his way down under the hall and calls me back. Take the brownies and the rest of the stuff I, I baked earlier today and we'll, we'll be, uh... I'll get Christy, we'll be, get me, <laughs> go out to the car. Joseph and Christy arrive at the church, uh, parking lot and find, a uh, hold out tables and pop out vents. Ready, set up, it looks like the big ale is already in full swing. Wow, this place is packed. Is it, it packed? And a few people miling around must be a valued pack. pack. If I can count out the city's population with my fingers and toes, this counts as packed. Point. Point. Uh, Christy rocks out of the car and onto the lot. This is. Is she jet fuel? I want to sell brownies. Okay, okay. Let's get settled here. I want to see mom. She is down at the other row of tables, helping with the other group. You want? I want to go over er, there and tell her I said hi. Mom. Christy zips off immediately. Joseph seems unconcerned. Does she always run that fast? Yeah, yeah and I can o only catch her ha half the time. These knees aren't what they used to be. I remember when Amanda was her age. I couldn't get her to sit still for five seconds. Sounds like me. Yep, great age to deal with. I was hyper as a kid. Nice. Well, Christy's gone, Joseph and I managed to our big goods to the table and settle in. So, are we allowed to eat any of our own goods? Oh, oh. Look, I, I don't see nothing, I don't see anything. The man upstairs has strong feelings about snitches. 
Does he actually? Yeah. Jonathan struggles. He, he eats a brownie. He looks at like some of the others st- all are settling drinks. A little homemade crap ass and other sweets. Whoa, some, someone brought a soft serve ice cream machine. I gesture to it. How are they supposed to compete with that? Uh-huh. Please, this isn't my first time at a rodeo. Big sale, rodeo, the big sale rodeo. Uh-huh. There's actually no rodeo here, it's just a big sale. Oh. I think you and I put it together can make a pretty convincing argument for the, these brownies, don't you? Oh yeah. We high five. Jo- if Joseph, you ba- ache it, w- w- if you bake it, they will come. There's so many references. <gasps> hey, it's those guys. It's nothing long before you have our first customers. Hey, hey dude. Hiya. Matt, Katharia, great to see you guys out here. Hey. Happy to suppose is a good cause, but you know at the my owner pro- Probateer of the coffee spoon and establish him as spectacles and baked goods. I have to scope over the competition. Joseph leans close to me. Oh. This guy knows his stuff. Stay on your toes. Mm. So, the recipe for. So, what recipe did you use for these brownies? Doesn't. Don't say hey, you use the bo- ox recipe. Don't say you use the box recipe. Just how Nana used to make. We improvise. Oh, uh, big. Yes, that worked! You can never ne- uh, make the same thing twice. Every batch is special. You will never be uh, another batch of brownies that extinct fl- distinct flavor sensation that the- these right here will have. Oh. Oh. That was a nice. Uh, that, was a n- that was once in a lifetime opportunity, Matt. Oh. Oh. All right, all right. We'll have two. Take two. Actually, take th- we'll take three. I ring them up and. Inv- and hi, jo- five Joseph for a happy customers we walk and walk away. <laughs> See, not so hard. Yeah, not. S- I'm hot out of the good feeling that the last sale. Who's next? We'll sell brownies to a bunch of people who reckon who re- I don't recognize, but clearly, jo- we know Joseph. Eventually, another familiar face pops up. Powder. Ah, I hate this guy. I'll be honest, I don't like him. Brownie, close enough. Can we uh, interest you in ch- uh, our, our fine sweets and treats? You uh, sk- sure can. I'll. Fi- we. I bet you can uh, eat ten brownies. Must resist urge to comp- be competitive. I bet I can eat eleven. I bet I can eat eleven. Well. <laughs> I used to be called Brian Hollow Legs. Hard. Ba- whole. Parting back at when I was a uh, competitive circuit, can you? Yeah, no. You can brownies. So you used to be a competitive eater. Go brownies or go for go brownie or brownie with me. Twelve brownies. Oh no! I fucked up. Let's save the treats for competitive eating or another time, shall we? Oh no! Stick at each other. Oh, stick or down at each other. Uh, no, I'm pausing. I'm going back. So, okay, here we go. We'll put you down for ten? Uh, better make it two. Make it just two. One of, one of me and one for Daisy. Coming right up. Too excited for the youth of the movie, movie, right? Movie night, right, Daisy? Yeah, what's the movie? It's a, it's a surprise. So Joseph leans over to me. Uh. It's the Fast and the Furious. Really? Uh. If you think... If you think about it, there's some heavy religious under- undertones. Joseph h- hands a ba- Aggie to Daisy. I made sure he's not wrong. Uh, Fast and Furious does have some religious undertones to it. I I will be honest right there. I made sure you give your eyes the edges. Clearly a superior part of the brownie. Ch- topography. I want brownies now. Damn it! I, I want to go to the store and buy brownies this weekend now. Thanks, Joseph. Our two customers walk off and purchase a Joseph uh, survey our stocks. Oh. <sighs> Things are settling pretty hot. Right, we'll have enough money to pay for the new paint job with the church pews in no time. Wait, what's what happened to the pews? <laughs> Ernest spray painted the, his wrapper and alias onto them. Young Steinbeck. I would have gone to Young Man or End of the Sea. But I, I respect that. Speaking of the material terms, Ernest is a har- is hard to reach. In fa- other 
In terms, Ernest is kind of a turd. Being a cool young minister seems like a lot of work. Really? Is it? But it's worth it. Huh. Although, sometimes I wish... Hmm. Never mind. What? Hmm. It's kind of silly, but... Yeah. Do you ever wish you could just drop everything and go lounge around on the beach somewhere in the tropics? Drink beauty, blended aided beverages, fall asleep on a hammock, you know, basically live into a Jimmy Buffet song? Joseph, I think about that every single day of my life. My dream is to live in a mar mar Margaritaville. <laughs> one day, my friend, one day we'll be in the... You know, on that on an island one <laughs> island time. We'll make a couple more sails and more of the church and everything seems to be going smoothly. In the distance I spot an old buddy, Craig. Oh. Craig yeah. He's gonna be a hard L. Craig's a fitness man. I think he comes to the he's big sails to test himself to see if he uh, has a result or refuse the process of sugar. Now, guys, time to test out my genius silver tongue. Some of you guys don't know. I have a very silver I have a very bright, shiny, silver tongue. I usually get into be some good situations. That's how I got my wife. <laughs> are you sure? Are you ready for this? We you go back. Act, I got this. Craig jogs up. Look at his kids. He's got twins. I think. Craig jogs up at the table with barrier of barrier with the toe. Each of them finishing ice cream in comb. It's unlike here. We're gonna sell them brownies. Unluckily, we're gonna sell them brownies too. Probably won't be able to sell oh, the baby. It's impossible to read. He's got. It's uh, all down to Craig. Hey, bros. Hi, Uncle Joseph. Uncle. Hi, Amanda. Hmm. Da Amanda's dad. Uh, could you be more interested in one of the delicious homemade brownies? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. You can't spell diet without die. Tempt him. Remember that one time? Tempt him. You know, Craig, if you really wanted to, you could hit a couple of the stalls, the stalls, and Craig, after yourself, br a brownie sundae. Get some soft serve brownie. Eh? Hmm. Treat yourself. You deserve it. That's a tempting offer, Powder, but I've got some um, shimmy mango pudding at home. Uh, suit yourself. No! I, I No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Ah, oh, I gotta go back. Ah, oh, I have to go back again. Okay, well, we're gonna try this again. But this time we're gonna remember the time. Hey, Craig, when we were freshmen, remember how we ne next door neighbors pranked us by switching our laundry detergent and wish soap and how we washed the machine exploded with suds? And then we decided to go back and bake by baking brownies for them, but sprinkling high intensity hot sauce into the mix. And we watched the and I have to. After he yes. <laughs> ha, I feel bad, but it was a clean up a laundry room ourselves. Anyway, these brownies are, I like that, but not, not with the hot sauce, without the hot sauce, but without the hot sauce. Maybe, maybe you should, uh, get, should get one more, for old time's sake. Oh. Craig thinks for a second. Mm. Well, the girls just won a game. Oh. You know what? We'll take one for each mm. of us. Even River? Mm. I'll eat hers. Oh. Yes! Oh yeah! You gotta deal yourself. That <laughs> so Craig is she get runs back immediately to falls asleep in Joseph fight uh, holding chair. Box mix, huh? Ugh. Mary utters er, is up to us. She looks at she'd rather be anywhere else than here. I hate this woman. Oh hi honey. Yep, you're selling like hotcakes, which is actually they're just brownies. Cute oh, and boring. God. I hate you. You tried flirting with me at the bar and for and boring and safe. Uh, hey, Mary. Mary's eyes dart over me. What's the rookie doing here? Yeah. I'm just. I was just introducing powder to the rest of the community. Hey. Uh huh. You get a load of you get a load of these freak shows. What? Mm. Weird folk is all ho hollier than or than what? I can't read that. Uh, anyway, don't you think powdered? Yeah. Mary. Ugh. Let's get the kid. Let the kid answer the question. Uh, they seem nice. Uh, yeah, they, I don't like this woman. Marion, can we talk about this later? I don't want to make this guy upset, and I'm embarrassing you in front of your new friend. Joseph doesn't respond, trying his hardest to keep his cool. Can we please talk about this later? Okay, now I see the problem. This is a bad marriage. 
She 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 sees him different. She wants something different in her life. Mm. Mary turns her attention to me. Hang over hand over the cash. Huh? Mm. Jesus, I'm not trying to rob you. I'm just I'm in charge of the funds here. I handed the cash we made and feels like a hefty wad, if we I may say so myself. Uh. Thanks. Uh? Now give me your wallet. What? Hey. Give me your wallet. I think I'm a church is gonna fix itself. Oh. Mary. Mm. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Sorry, I'll be off my whole pretending to be a happy thing. Mary leans in and whispers to mm. me. He's really good at it. Oh. Oh! Mary walks off without saying goodbye. Yeesh. So he is pretending. He's hiding something. He's hiding his unhappiness in his marriage. I see it now. I knew it! Um, I'm really sorry about that. Are you okay? She's really pushing your buttons, huh? Right. Joseph shrugs. Mm. No marriage is perfect. Yeah. I'm really, I'm ready to head out. Rose is a holding back to his car. Christy nods off the moments Joseph straps her into the car seat. Hey. Joseph, I drop Joseph off in the front of his house. A small yawn sneaks out of me. Oh. Looks like you're tuckered out, huh? I'm a sleepy dad. I think I'll, I might finally be crashing out, out, out all, from all this sugar. Oh. Uh, I won't keep you up then. Uh -huh. Thanks for helping out today. Happy to do it. And also, oh, happy to eat, eat brownies. Oh. Well, next time I promise we'll do something a, a bit more exciting and a bit less free labor. And I'm very sorry about the whole thing with Mary. You shouldn't have had seen that. It's fine, really. <laughs> I know, but first ha hang out domestic problems aren't a good look. You barely know me. Yeah. And let me make it up to you next time. You won't be... It will be Margaritaville. It won't be Margaritaville, but it'll do something fun. Promise. Are we gonna bang? And I um, are we gonna be watching a? Uh, is this some kind of uh, male version of Naughty Nuns? Uh, uh, sorry, that was terrible. Uh, I smile. I like that. I'd like that. Oh, and one last thing. Joseph tosses a cl uh, cling uh, wrap brownie through the window. Through the window, it hits me in the face, and I'm able to catch it. <laughs> That's the last one. You earned it. Joseph, please don't leave me alone with the, this brownie. Nope. Too late. I've already walked away. Walking away. But. <laughs> bye! <laughs> Joseph walks up to the house. Have his, he waves at me before airing Christy inside. Well, he looks like he just, that's you and me, brownie. Save the brownie for later. Uh, pocket the brownie, and this might come to a hit down the road. Hmm. I step inside and find Amanda doing homework on the oh. couch. Hey, father unit. Hi, child that I acquire for the law uh, uh, to care for. How's homework? Oh. It's really fun and educational. Really? How long have you known me for? Right. Mm -hmm. How was the bake sale? Good. I think I could have made a good, good life for myself with a, with a, as a brownie salesman. Glad to hear it. Oh. So, so what? Mm -hmm. Where, where, were there extra brownies, or did you ha maybe sneak one? Or I think for a moment I realized I still had the brownie that Joseph gave me. I would have probably do better in someone else's stomach than mine. Heads up! Whoa. Wait! I hurt er, the brownie towards Amanda, and it hits the wall behind her and falls to the ground. Uh. Nice throw. She scoops it up and smiles at me. Yeah. Thanks, Pops. Hey, if you're not uh, going to bed anytime soon, would you? Would you be a get aim for someone with real, with real shark hunters in Orange of Orange County? I thought that last hunter had gotten eaten by a shark. Aww. He did. I sit down and next to a cozy of his blanket. Awesome. Ah, oh, God, this guys, guys, this episode's awesome. Uh, date complete. What's the score? What's the score? rank that's fucking awesome i didn't know there's a possible rank you got that so how many we got left we got craig and brian left which will be we will do in the next episode guys anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this awesome episode of dad uh dream daddy not dad book this episode has been going on way too long so i'll see you guys in the next video stay nerdy my friends Bye bye <laughs>